Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another episode. I figured I'd uh, get out here and uh, do a little bit of scouting on some of the public ground that I hunt and kind of bring you in on that today. It's getting to that point where deer season's right on top of us. So we're gonna have to start thinking about that and I'm making that a thing. So I'll bring you along. We're gonna do some drone flights, a little bit of GoPro and uh, we'll see you in just a bit. of a, a road which really does get gets traveled a lot by deer I'm not in camo it's not season but what I'm going to try to do is just get some aerial footage get an idea of what the land is looking like there's corn I mean there's this, this field behind me on the other side is a set is a, is a timber and that's where I like to hunt at um, There's also This timber on the other side of the road on the other side of the corn that it produces a lot of deer as well And they like to travel back and forth Ah, Sorry So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get some aerial footage see what the corn looks like see if it's really laid down or not I'm gonna take a look at the timber from up above and uh, I'm going to show you guys that drone footage. I'm also going to be talking, because my drone doesn't have a microphone, I'm going to talk into the GoPro as I do that and talk about what I'm seeing. See if I can mesh that together. A little more difficult sometimes than what it seems, but, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to send the drone up and see if I can get some good footage for myself, for research, and for you guys to kind of get an idea of what I'm looking for. So I'll stay tuned. Okay, we are going to take off. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. And we're going to send it straight. We're going to send it straight up. And I'll start recording. Well, wow, it's really loud for some reason. So that the first thing I'm trying to see here is what is the condition of the cornfield? Is it in poor condition? Is it good condition? Did it get laid over during the uh, derecho? Uh, a lot of that is just wanting to know how long is it going to take the farmer, I'll run this in a little bit of cinema slow speed, how long is it going to take the farmer, oh wow, to get this crop out? And the first thing I'm looking at, the first thing I can see is right up in the top left of your screen, you can see a lot of lay down and a lot of that's and that's a lot of that's due to deer and raccoons. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fly over that. So I'm going to start heading for that. I want to get a closer look at it, see what's going on there. On the right of the screen, you can see there's a lot of, there was some uh, water damage from flooding. Um, this field does not drain very well. It's very, very, very flat. But I can see that this damage is pretty substantial. Um, up around that little tree island, up towards the road, there's a lot of damage there from deer. So this is, this is telling me this is a really good pocket so far for deer. So we'll kind of hover over the top of this and get an idea of actually what this looks like. And that's just all crops that have just been 
decimated by the deer. So there's a lot of deer activity here. I think the next thing I want to look at is, do I see any open pockets in these trees? So this whole thing is not too far off the river. You can actually see the river there. And uh, a bit of a waterworks park over there. So I kind of, what I want to see here is, do I see any open gaps in the trees from the Duratio? Because if there is, that's going to that's gonna kind of show some open area for deer to be sitting. Um, oh, that, well, so you can see that the, the bean field out there was actually left uncut, or unplanted, excuse me. And that area usually gets hit really hard by deer. So that doesn't surprise me that the, the farmer did that. You can see right now in the middle of your screen, it's a large grass patch, and that is actually a huge bedding area for does. Uh, bucks will cruise through that quite frequently just to kind of check out and see where the does are at. So I'm gonna fly over this area over here. And you can see he just left that open and, and just didn't do anything with it this year. So this might be another opportunity for us to uh, capitalize on some of this area, this open area for hunting. Now this area that it's right in the middle of your screen now and the grass patch that's there, this is an old water channel for the river from years and years and years past. And this is an area that I enjoy hunting a lot. And what I'm looking at right now, or looking for right now, is trails that have been worn down from the deer, going from the beans on the left to the corn on the right. I'm not really seeing a bunch right now. But again, you can see that just the, the area of devastation that these deer will do to a field and people ask why, you know, well, why do you hunt? Well, this is really, this is a good example of why we do this. And people will say, well, you can't prove that the deer did it. Well, actually, yes, you can. Um, you go out there and, and I may actually walk into that area just to take a look how bad that, that damage is. But they will sit up in these areas, these little pockets, and they'll just wait and they'll just mow the, gra the, the corn down and mow the beans down. So this is more of a natural funnel in this uh, the center of your screen here between the river and this field on the right. And this natural funnel brings the deer straight to this field. Hence the reason why that corner is absolutely decimated. Uh, it's a good hiding pocket. It's a good area to sit. And again, nat this natural funnel, again, it kind of plays in, it comes into play. Excuse me, I'm going to turn it the other way. This natural funnel becomes a really big area. So right underneath me becomes the, fun the pinch point to go between two fields, as well as from that draw back behind the camera. You can also see in this area that the beans have been pretty well worked over. Got some good patching. Take a look right below us and see if there's anything right below us. Doesn't look like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop in. I'm gonna fly a little bit lower. It's about 225 feet right there above ground. Hopefully my camera doesn't lag out on you. It's just a ton of damage in this entire area. But we can see the beans are turning, so that's going to be out of the field pretty quickly. Maximum flight altitude reached. Yeah, it says that's all the further I can go. Okay. This is another bean field. This is a quick access to this field. And I may actually be using that. And now I can actually see the water. There is a watering hole. There is water sitting. So this is going to be a pretty heavy, tra heavy heavily trafficked area. That's very interesting. 
this again this whole area this grass that you can see this is an old water channel there is power lines that run through this old water channel and this is a very 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 busy area for deer I haven't seen anything yet but we're gonna go ahead and return the drone we're at about 40 percent battery I've got a couple more and I'll continue the video here in just a second Okay, we've got a fresh battery and we're ready to scout the next area. We're going to get this out of your ears. You guys can probably hear that buzzing like crazy. Uh, so we're going to run that up to about 170 feet. I'm going to turn it to the south and take a look over here. This timber area that we have over here is very lucrative. Produces a lot of deer, holds a lot of deer. It's also usually has a water hole right in the channel between the trees that you can probably see in the, the center left of your screen. On the far side, we have another bean field, which is good. It sounds like my drone is a little upset. It is starting to sprinkle just a little bit, so it's not real happy with me. I don't want to keep it up there too long, but I do want to scout this out a little bit. So we've got old waterways right in the center of your screen in between the trees. And there's an open area, some very tall pines, ash, and hardwoods. And there's actually, sounds like there's a deer right in front of me as I'm talking right now. Uh, that could be interesting. But... What I'm looking for, and I'll go ahead and I'll start to travel that direction, is what kind of what kind of effect is the deer had on these beans? This is kind of the same idea here. You can see what they've done. And they really are been, they've been very aggressive this year on the beans. The beans have had a tough go of it anyway. I'm going to take a look at the water channel while I'm here. And there are some tracks. You can actually see the tracks down in the, the water channel. That water channel has been dry, but ooh, that's pretty interesting actually. We got some mosquitoes are starting to get me here. You can actually see a lot of track right there. So I'm gonna kind of, uh, and they are going from the far side, this cornfield, to that bean field corner. So that is incredibly interesting. May need another pinch point for us. Now, whoops. Oh, she's angry. She's angry, boys and girls. I'm going to bring her back because I think that the sprinkles and weather are just kind of upsetting her a little bit. Uh, you can see a lot of what's been going on with... Oh, you can probably hear that drone right now. You can see what the... the this is some derecho effect, but most of that is actually deer effect and what they've done to the field. Uh, there is some, there's some derecho. You can definitely see where it was laid pretty flat by the duratio but the larger pockets um like what's in the center of the screen now just the holes in the pockets like that is actually due due to the deer so we've got a lot of activity right here in this little pocket and as i kind of alluded to earlier this is kind of a pinch point coming from the river's edge all the way back into this area so we're going to go ahead and bring the drone back at the, uh, I am sitting right there, right in the middle of your screen. So we'll bring that back and we'll be right back with you. So the rain's starting to kick up a little bit. And so I'm going to start heading back towards the car, but I noticed something here. One, these massive, massive buck tracks leading this way 
and doe tracks actually so there's kind of one of each the field's really soft it, these are buck tracks i don't know if you guys can see that very well but it's got it's got his hind spur right down here as well as his fork it's not very big deer um but it's a buck all the same it's again here spurs it actually looks like the deer are actually starting to nibble and chew and mark on this branch and this branch by itself right on the edge of this cornfield is going to get absolutely decimated and they're going to use that as a rub and a scrape and a lot of corn that's eaten in here by the deer but it, it caught my eye I, I wanted to walk in here and take a look and that trail runs right across this road here it goes into an opening clearing which i hope you guys can see yep, you can see so there's a clearing right up here so i'm going to walk into that clearing and take a look and uh see which kind of what direction see if they're making trails and what direction they might be going to kind of help me understand what they're doing got lots of trail here a lot of hoof prints skeeters god there's a lot of skeeters to me this used to be an old farm ground there used to be a business on this public ground at one point and then it got flooded so they tore it down left it alone and it started getting farmed so i can see right here there's a worn path and i'm going to walk into that and i'm going to look down this that water trail that i showed you guys earlier this water the old waterway so i'm going to walk in here hopefully not come out with 25,000 pounds of chiggers and burrs and cockaburrs and everything else things that i hate but yeah, I, I chose to go out here okay so this is what we're looking this is what i look like this is what i'm looking at excuse me all over this public ground is waterways this is just a water channel and it bends around back to the southwest i'm facing southeast right now and they're using this these crossings as just as like a highway they'll just run up and down this entire thing and you can sit on either side of this and catch them crossing or walking through and this one's more of a up and down so they're walking the entirety of it so i'm gonna get out of here i don't kind of don't see much for don't see much else here so yeah needless to say i don't know what's beeping in my backpack i'll worry about it later it'll be there when i get back it's my drone for some reason i don't know why it's beeping i thought i turned everything off maybe i didn't the hardest thing about public ground in my opinion there he goes it finally shut off i guess it was the drone the hardest thing about hunting public ground in my opinion one is the pressure a lot of pressure in here especially this one it's not too far off the city limits or it's actually within city limits but there's so much pressure involved in a location like this a lot of people i've walked just so fyi i've probably walked oh probably a mile in on this roadway and somebody else will do it too they normally normally don't like going back where i like to go right off to the right there so i'm walking i'm still walking back i haven't made it very far from the last time i said anything to you Woo! i see my nemesis right there you see those guys we don't like them they don't like us i'm gonna walk around him so i'm walking back and i i remembered so there's the, there's a trail here i don't know if you guys are gonna make that out it runs right along the seam of that hillside and it heads this way and right over here is actually a water pool so i'm not gonna there's actually still water in it yeah screw it i'll fucking walk back there i don't care these deer there's little lilies tulips bells whatever they're called 
Let's see if there's any water in here. So these deer will come in from all directions here to get to this little water pool. I'm gonna kind of look around here for a minute, see if there's any cameras. I don't see any. Somebody's game cam while I'm out here. But there's a there's a trail that runs alongside here. Everything's looking pretty good. I probably could have brought a game cam out here and it wouldn't be bothered. So early season, this may be where I want to go. There's, there's a little bit of water here. It's real, I mean, it's stagnant, but it's, there's always water here. A lot of trail coming off from that direction up this water channel. So this may be an early, early season sit for me. Try to take a look around here. Really don't see much for area to sit except for right over here. Maybe try to intercept them on the other side of that, that tree, the tree that's down right there, or uh, up, nice and full, full. Right on the other side, it's real flat. So, looks like there's a trail that goes in some brush there, and they're coming alongside that tree line. So actually hunting back behind me, right back here may be a thing. It may be a more lucrative position. So... That's interesting. I know I'm probably setting the place up, but hey, gotta get that intel. All right, well, that's gonna do it for today. That's a little bit of scouting that we had. Um, if you guys enjoy these kind of a scouting outings, let me know, hit a thumbs up on it for me. Um, there could be quite a bit more coming up. You know, I'm gonna get out one more time and do some catfishing. Um, sounds like we're gonna maybe make a trip out of it to the Missouri River. Next weekend, uh, if you guys are seeing this video, this video should be coming up on Tuesday. Uh, we're gonna slow down a little bit on video frequency. We're gonna go, uh, not Tuesday, excuse me, Thursday. Uh, video frequency is gonna go down to one a week, um, unless we got some decent content to give you. I've always got the cameras with me, so we'll find out. But I do uh, appreciate you guys sticking around and kind of joining me on a bit of a scouting outing. If you guys just liked it, give it a thumbs up, like I said. If you could, think about subscribing to see a lot more of this. If you guys enjoy it and you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. That's how you guys get to see more. So I appreciate you guys sticking around. I'll see you next time.